As the peak tourist season nears, dense traffic is reported on all roads leading to and from the seaside. Traffic is flowing slowly near the Lutko toll booths and the Bosilevo 2 exit. There's also some congestion on the A3 road Brigana Lipovac and the Adriatic motorway near Primošten. Ferries and catamarans are operating in line with schedule. And all those hoping for a home of their own in Croatia will be pleased to learn that the law on subsidizing housing loans comes into effect today. Under this law, the state will be paying half of the monthly loan installment during a four-year period when those wanting to get onto the property ladder buy their first home. If during this period the loan taker happens to become a parent, the period of the loan being subsidized will be extended by two years for each child, either adopted or born. The total value of the loan, however, cannot overshoot 100,000 euro. And staying with good economic news, the Fitch Rating Agency has retained Croatia's double B rating with a stable outlook. It is stated that the Croatian economy was enjoying benefits of the favorable cyclical conditions, but also mentioned that the agricultural concerns restructuring will slow down Croatia's growth in 2017. And in other news, after the Croatian Foreign Ministry lodged a sharp protest with Montenegro following the unveiling of a monument dedicated to Punisha Racic, the man who killed three Croatian members of Belgrade Assembly in 1928 in his hometown of Slatina in Montenegro, Podgorica has swiftly condemned the move, promising that the monument would be removed. Turning to entertainment, the Ultra Europe Festival of Electronic Music, the top electronic music event in the region, commenced in split on Friday afternoon and will be continuing until Sunday, after which it moves to the islands of Brač, Hvar and Vis. The organizing of such a big festival means that the city's cleaners are working around the clock to keep it beautiful and pristine. And in sports, Croatian tennis player Marin Cilic made it into the finals of the Wimbledon tennis tournament after beating US's Sam Quarry three sets to one yesterday. Cilic will be playing Roger Federer in the final on Sunday afternoon. This is Cilic's first attempt at winning the Wimbledon title. And the weather passing moderate cloud may bring some light rain, but most of the country will be dry and prevalently sunny. Moderate to strong bore along the coast towards the open and the south, where there may be some southwesterly winds. Bora to strengthen overnight, gaining force at the foot of Mount Velebit. Top temperatures between 23 and 28 degrees inland and up to 34 degrees along the coast and in the hinterland. Moderate cloud expected on Sunday inland and there may be a few scattered showers, mostly in the country's east. It will be blustery with moderate to strong northerly northeasterly winds. Winds will die down on Monday and it will once again heat up. Very windy along the coast on Sunday, particularly at the foot of Mount Velibit, where Bora may reach gale force gusts. Some wetness possible in the country's southernmost parts. Bora to die down at the start of next week and sunny weather expected to continue.